Today we meet again. <clears throat> it's time for some floor yoga. Now, uh, this video is actually for Kyle that um, sent me a request because he has uh, a very painful bicep and he wanted to know what can you do when you have a painful uh, bicep. Now, uh, of course, we have to ask us uh, why, why, where did this pain come from, and so on. And it happens to be in, the, in this case that I know uh, what happened. Uh, Mr. Kyle maybe overworked a bit uh, in the last workout, where he did a lot of uh, pull-ups or uh, ring rows. Now, uh, he pr probably had overdone it a bit, making in. I'm uh, making the, the muscle uh, extremely short and at the same time also having a, um, some muscle soreness going on, meaning there are some uh, tissue damages uh, also inside the muscle. Um, now the question is what can Kyle do now? The, the, there are multiple answers, but first of all, are you... Uh, Hydrated? Have you enough uh, fluid uh, in your body? Uh, second, have you eaten enough of uh, protein so you have uh, enough of, uh, amino acids and so on in your body? And have you slept enough? Uh, those are the first corner questions. If you check those, bum bum bum, uh, we can start to look at. What can we do for uh, mobilizations or something to kind of relieve that pain? Now, uh, you should always respect pain, but uh, also see your body is very good at telling you if it's if you're over the line or not. So you can always go there and kind of uh, talk with your body and ask yourself how how far can I push this? So some some easy. Um, the methodology from uh, from the mobility wad, uh, which you like, is that you have to look at it as a system of systems, meaning uh, the bicep is uh, connected to other parts of your body, if you haven't noticed. It's connected to your lower arm, it's connected to your shoulder, and your shoulder is connected to your back, to, to your neck and everything. So. Um, Let's let's try to uh, break this down to some lower arm mobilization, and also uh, look at the other side of the arm, the tricep, and maybe also look at some of the shoulder issues uh, or shoulder mobilizations you can do here. Now. Uh, if, the, if the bicep is short on the front side, what we can do is to try to kind of give that a bit slack is to get all the skin and see how, how good the skin is moving up and down the arm. And just by uh, scraping that, you can either you can use a tool, but I think it's also you can use almost any kind of uh, object and just try to get the skin a bit moving uh, and one very good effective way to do that is to use a stick also uh, which I'm gonna integrate in uh, all the movements now so if everyone has a broomstick at home hopefully that you're cleaning the floor with and what you're gonna do is you need your underarm you need the, the broomstick this is something I like to integrate also in the in the cool downs that we do here is to smash the underarms after heavy work. So we put the arm on the floor, you put some pressure uh, with the other hand and then you roll and then you uh, squeeze your hand, pull it up and then you can even put more pressure with your other knee to really get deeper in there. And you simply do this up and down and you try to contract and, and extend the fingers and everything and uh, let's let's look at going more closely on the bicep maybe the pain is more up up here 
then I will do the same thing at the lower part of the bicep. Now you have to get a bit more, uh, how do I say, down to the ground and you put, put the stick just where the arm starts and you put some pressure uh, with your leg or your push and you try to extend the arm, contract, move it in, twist the arm a bit, everything on the floor and you will notice that this can be super hard even if you're if you if you're not very painful in your arms and to make it even more interesting is that you can put something underneath um, underneath your tricep so you can take a lacrosse ball or something put it underneath your tricep I'm just gonna pick it up So you can use a single lacrosse, lacrosse ball or a double lac, lacrosse ball. Lacrosse ball. <clears throat> pressure and here I extend, bend, I roll my hand and oh <laughs> yeah that's that's a good one and you can slowly move up upstream that arm like that and yeah be just listen to your body if it's too close to the painful area just skip that painful area and uh, um, start to look at your shoulder and the front side of your um, and your pecs here in front side of your chest and what you can do is same thing with the stick and you can put the balls on the back or not and then you take the stick 